Hello everyone, today I want to share with you how I built out a BYOD app protection policy uh, so people with personal cell phones would be able to access corporate data in a secured manner. Um, Alright, so let's get started. First thing I did was I went into Intune Admin Center and I went to Apps and then I created an app protection policy and in here you'll see two. There's one for Android, one for iOS. So let's go through Android first. Click on Properties. Uh, so what it does is gave it a name, a uh, description, so I know what it's doing. So under apps, we have target to apps on all device types, yes, and target policy to core Microsoft apps. So what this will do is only block the main Microsoft apps we use, like Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, uh, Word, Excel, um, just the core Microsoft apps. They have a lot of different apps that you can choose to but we just use the core ones here uh, under device protection this is what we have set up so we don't want you to back up any org data to things like the Google Cloud um, we do allow you to save files to our OneDrive or our SharePoint um, we do allow transfer messaging data and transfer communication so basically if you have a an Outlook email with a phone number on it, you can tap the link and it'll open it in the dialer. Um, receive data from other apps, policy managed apps, and restrict cut and copy paste between other apps. So again, policy managed apps. So what that means is you can copy, say, a message from Teams and paste it in an Outlook email, but you can't copy it from Teams and paste it in, say, Samsung Notes because it's a personal app. It's not managed in this policy, so you get Basically, the policy will block you from copying data or exfiltrating data externally. Uh, we do allow screen captures in Google Assistant um, just so that the system will work. However, we may revisit that and block it. Uh, we do encrypt org data, so that's good to have. Um, sync policy managed app data with native apps we block this and we block printing from your cell phone we prefer you print from your computer and we don't use microsoft tunnel with our microsoft apps uh, however defender microsoft defender does use a vpn tunnel we just don't have that configured for other apps which is a good idea to, if you have it set up we just haven't got there yet and then i have the same thing for um, an apple device ios uh, it's pretty much the same policy, just Apple has a few other things that are different, but you can see we're capturing the core Microsoft apps, like I mentioned before. Um, we block up, you know, we're blocking, backing up org data to the iCloud. Um, saving copies locally, yeah, we block all that. You can click on a link, though, like a cell phone number link, and you can dial it. Um, you can just kind of go through these and figure these out for yourself. We block third-party keyboards. Sometimes you get a keyboard with a um, like a listener on it that will, like a key logger. You don't want that. So we block that stuff. You have to use the Apple keyboard. We encrypt org data. Um, and yeah, so you can see it's just basically like the, uh, the Android policy. So once that's built, then what we do is we go to conditional access. So I've built this conditional access policy um, to basically block anybody who isn't authorized to bring their own device and connect to our cloud infrastructure. So if you go to users, you'll see that I've included all staff. So basically anyone who is our staff and is not part of the BYOD test group will be blocked um, as per this access control here. So it'll be blocked. Um, the target resources is only affecting Microsoft Office 365 and the condition is basically if you're trying to access Microsoft 365 from the browser or from one of the mobile apps um, again if you're not in the BYOD group you will be blocked One last piece to this BYOD policy is under devices and enrollments. 
Uh, we set up the device enrollment restrictions for BYOD devices. So basically you have to have, or you can only have up to three devices enrolled. Um, otherwise you'll get an alert saying that you've enrolled too many devices. Uh, you might want to limit this even lower, but um, we settled at three at this time. And uh, that's it.